Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you uh, the new version of Volume Profile 2.6, 2.5.6. In this version, we had it uh, several uh, new major features and uh, one additional new version of the indicator. L let's start uh, from the new version of uh, the indicator that we added in this version. It's called Volume Profile Classic. Let's add it on a chart. Okay. This is the Volume Profile Classic settings. First, we changed all the versions uh, setting grouping uh, so we ha now have a general group colors group and you if you scroll down we have update group uh, buy sell volume percentage group this is a new future and down we have update message okay uh, first without making any change i will attach this indicator on my chart let's see what's going to happen It gets some time to load because the classic version uses all the available data on your chart to calculate the volume profile data okay as you can see on the left side of my chart the volume profile data appear it's uh, one only one histogram not like other versions uh, it uses all the available data on your chart to calculate this volume profile uh, and uh, the different thing about this volume profile is it, it keep moving if you scroll left or right okay let's see as you can see it moves and uh, if you come up here okay let me increase the length of the bars it's now maximum length is 50 bars i will increase it to maybe 300 bars or 200 Okay, let's try 200. I will. Okay. Okay. It's now much longer anyway. If I keep a little bit. Okay, okay, now it's good. L let's go up. You see here there is a buy 50.8%. This is a new future. It shows how much of the this profile is buy volume and how much is sell volume. The buy volume is 50.8%. To see the sell volume, it's on the bottom of the profile, I think. Yeah, 49.2%. You can uh, move both of this uh, uh, either on top or bottom or use a separate top bottom like this uh, 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 that I have set. The default is like this. It shows the sell volume on bottom of the profile and buy volume on the top of the profile. Another major feature that we added in this version is the POC, point of control. Previously, several users asked for us to add this feature to volume profile. We we said we added this uh, POC on our market profile indicator so there is no need to add it on volume profile indicator the volume profile indicator should only show the buy on selling volume on each price level but recently we decided to add this uh, point of control or POC on volume profile now you can uh, see it here there is the POC or point of control this is the longest uh, bar on volume profile inside vol value area VA so uh, the indicator shows it in different color uh, let me uh, make a uh, let me change the cell side of the poc color to something that could be differentiated very well from other data now it looks like similar to the uh, cell uh, bars of uh, value area okay buy poc sell poc sell poc is brown i will change it to maybe Mm, if I change it to something like um, um, blue let's see the result okay now we have it here this is the PUC this is the buy volume the yellow area and the blue uh, area is the selling volume at the PUC or point of control it keeps moving as you can see now another uh, great feature that we added in this version is the auto calculation of width one of the major issues with previous versions of this indicator was the width width of each bar must be set by the user and uh, it was uh, different for each sample because if one sample is too volatile then the width should be much higher than a less volatile sample now we have an auto mode for width 
we also have the fake previous fixed mode if you want to use it you can use the fixed mode and set the amount of pips for each of the bars with in pips if you, by default the default setting is auto mode the auto mode uses the average bar range for the width so it easily adapt to all samples and you don't have to make any change on it and uh, it uh, it uses the best possible value for the weight of the bars because it uses the average bars uh, range average bars range of available data on the chart and what new we added also you can see buy and sell poc colors here you can set it um, and this is the buy sell volume percentage setting as i said before you can enable disable it you can set the text color which is now white you can set the position of buy volume percentage sell volume percentage you can set both either up down or uh, you can use up for one and down for another the offset helps you to move the buy sell volume percentage text uh, horizontally and the distance in pips helps you allows you to move it um, vertically from uh, volume profile for now it's both or, or set to zero this is the classic version uh, it's a, a new version that is added on the uh, our volume profile package now let's see what's new on other versions okay i will remove the classic version from my chart let's try fixed version okay fixed version is not a new version the previous uh, version uh, in previous version of the indicator we call we will call this um, uh, version of indicator regular uh, version or it ha had no suffix it was just volume profile now we renamed it to fixed so you uh, it's easily differentiatable from the classic version the fixed version uses a period to show multiple volume profiles on your chart based on x number of uh, bars for now it's 100 let's uh, add it on our chart see what's going to happen okay okay it shows three volume profile as we set on the setting the default value is three okay and uh, uh, also the weight mode is auto here you can see it uses the best possible value for weight of the bars we have point of control like classic version the, and also there is something new here extended lines extended lines was a suggestion from users we added it you can enable or disable it if you don't want to see it on your chart what it does it extend the point of control and the top and bottom of the value area lines from previous profiles to the future price data you can uh, reverse it in a state of right side it will go left side okay now you can see the extended lines goes to the left side you can you set the colors here the style of the line thickness period okay there is two parameter important parameter in extended lines here profiles uh, profile number and period number okay the profiles number uh, in profiles number you set that for how many pr volume profiles you want to see the extended lines here it's three if i ha suppose have 10 volume profile on our my chart i will increase this to 10 okay now i i only see the extended lines for last three not the others if i want to see for others i have to increase this number okay if i keep increasing this the lines will come from other profiles the period allows you to set how long the extended lines should continue based on the number of profiles here it is three it means from the profile itself to next three profile the extended lines should be extended okay i hope you understand this it's a little bit complicated but once you get it you will understand it the other settings are same we just change the grouping and uh, nothing else here new i think instead of buy sell volume extended lines point of control and uh, auto with calculation same like for uh, other versions let me remove this from my chart let's try time frame version which is the most popular version of this indicator among the users it has same new features extended lines buy sell volume uh, auto weight calculation point of control everything okay let's try it it's daily volume profile data okay now you see it's messed up because the maximum length setting is not 
properly set we I have to decrease it maximum length is 50 I have to decrease it to something like maybe 15 yeah it's much better so it's the daily volume profile on hourly chart now I will remove this I will let's try the rectangle version okay oh sorry mm, as you can see you have both buy and sell percentage here point of control there is no extended lines because it doesn't make sense here in this versions so there is no extended line in between line two line and rectangle version let me okay as you can see uh, it's very useful to just plot it you will see 41 percent sell 58 percent buy in this area it should be like this because the price is going upward let's see what's here the this short downward move okay 44 percent buy 55 percent sell that's gr great okay remove all indicators i also remove all drawing items let's try the between two line version i have to draw two vertical line on my chart one is here one here now some people when they use the between two lines version they say hey, it's not working it's working you have to set the comment uh, for vertical lines Be why we we just do, uh, don't plot the profile here because if you have other lines vertical lines on your chart then the indicator doesn't know which lines you plotted for drawing volume profile and which lines you use for other stuff so the using comments allow us to uh, uh, differentiate between normal lines and the lines that you want to draw the volume profile for okay so here I have to set VP. VP is the suffix. You can change it on indicator setting. Anything that you set uh, on the indicator setting for suffix, you have to use it here instead of VP. The default value is VP. Now I have to set the same zero VP. Don't use like the zero VP and one VP. It means both lines are for one same volume profile, not too different. Now if I have to draw another two line here okay i can use one vp or anything else okay one vp one vp as you can see it came let me show you if you change the position of uh, buy sell percentage to either buy uh, either up or down what's going to happen okay as you can see now it shows both buy and sell in same line separated with a uh, separator buy sell you can set both to down hmm. this was the all the new features we added on this version of volume profile Thanks for, for, I want to thank all the users who suggested these new features. Without you, we guys couldn't improve this product this much. Thanks for, for your support. Keep telling us how, how can we more improve this product. And uh, we will add any future you ask. From, uh, hope this new features help you to trade better. If you're using our William Profile Indicator, we are, uh, we love to hear from you back what you think you about these new futures. Bye everyone.